your sensor uh, it is a gyroscopic device that measures a vehicle uh, vehicles your it it's a angular velocity around its uh, vertical axis and the angle between the vehicle's heading and the velocity it's called as a slip angle which is related to your it so this your it determines whether the car is developing tendency to spin around the vertical axis and it helps the esp control unit uh, here esp control unit is the electronic stability program control unit uh, which determines the current driving dynamic state of the car for this purpose it must be placed into vehicles center of gravity uh, vehicle center of gravity uh, because uh, if you place uh, uh, in vehicle center of gravity then uh, can accurately measures the uh, road angular uh, uh, angular velocity means vertical axis angular velocity we can correctly measure if we place the place this sensor uh, uh, in uh, center of gravity of the uh, car so mainly there are two types of uh, uh, your it sensor one is a piezoelectric type and uh, another is a mi micro mechanical type so uh, as i said uh, this sensor works uh, on principle of gyroscopic device so uh gyroscopy device it is a uh, it is spinning wheel or disc which in which the axis of rotation is free to assume any rotation by itself when rotating the orientation of the axis uh, is unaffected by uh, tilting or rotation of the mounting according to the conservation of angular uh, uh, momentum and uh, it has two types so one is a piezoelectric and uh, another is a micro mechanical so in piezoelectrical it will measure the yaw at uh, on the principle of uh, uh, piezoelectricity so uh, piezo pie, uh, piezoelectricity uh, it is the electrical charge that accumulates in a certain solid material such as uh, crystal certain ceramics and biological matter such as uh, bone dna and various protein uh in response to applied mechanical stress so uh, this is the basically uh, basic structure of uh, how your it sensor is placed uh, inside the car so as you can see here uh, the your it uh, your uh, is placed uh, below the passenger seat and uh, it is the uh, it is the uh, center of gravity of car and it, it will measure the uh, vertical axis your it so this your it uh, sensor data uh, uh, and steering wheel sensor uh, steering wheel uh, angle sensor so those both sensor data are fed to uh, e, uh, esp control unit means electronic stability control module so that electronic uh, stability control module will uh, take the decision according to the uh, your it sensor values and uh, steering wheel sensor values so uh, that electronic uh, uh, stability control uh, uh, unit has power to apply uh, apply the uh, brakes to individual wheel according to the uh, your it so uh, this is the gyroscope device measurement as i said earlier gyroscopic is a device used for measuring or maintaining orientation of orientation and angular velocity and it is a spinning wheel or a disc in which axis of rotation is free to assume uh, any ro ro orientation by itself so what does uh, your it sensor does your it sensor does measures a uh, vehicle angular velocity about its vertical axis uh, as we see uh, that in previous image uh, so uh, it will measure uh, its uh, angular velocity in degrees or radian per second in order to determine the orientation of vehicle as it hard uh, as it hard corners uh, threaten to roll over so if we uh, place this uh, if any car has this or it sensor then that uh, roll over of uh, car can be avoided by using this or it sensor where is the or it sensor located as i earlier it is located on uh, below the passenger seat because they, uh, they generally passenger seat is a great spot for a center of gravity of uh, uh, Car. So usually uh, this your it sensor is uh, placed uh, uh, below the passenger seat, and after uh, installation, uh, a reset or recalibration procedure is generally because because 
after uh, installing there we have to calibrate that uh, your it sensor according to all axis means x y z axis so all all direction we have to calibrate means we have to normalize that sensor uh, in every, every axis so according to that uh, it will produce the uh, output when car is going forward or uh, it is getting turned so according to that we will get the uh, data so for that this uh, recalibration is uh, impor important so how does your, your red sensor functions so your red sensor determines how far axis a car is tilting in a turn using gyro gyroscope to monitor slip angle the angle between vehicles heading and the uh, actual movement direction uh, the information is fed into vehicle's computer computer to derive the vehicle speed and say steering angle and accelerator position if the system senses uh, too much or the appropriate braking force is automatically applied means so if the if we are traveling into uh, hills so uh, they, there are more chances that there are uh, turns are very very uh, uh, sharp turn so if we uh, if we turn more then it uh, there are high chances uh, cars uh, car can lose its uh, control so there by using your red sensor we can calculate the your uh, red so if the your uh, the threshold your red your is uh, uh, more so this esp control unit ta uh, takes the control of brake and it applies the brake to avoid the roll over or uh, skidding uh, by comparing the vehicle's actual uh, your rate to target your rate, the onboard computer can identify what degrees the vehicle may be under uh, under or uh, over steering and uh, what co uh, co corrective actions uh, if any is required. Corrective actions uh, may include reducing engine power as well as applying the brake on one or more wheels. So uh, this uh, here. ESP control units uh, does whatever it takes to the avoid the uh, rollover of the car or skidding or uh, losing control of the car. So it it uh, that ESP control unit does all this because of the uh, your your sensor data. So first type is piezoelectric uh, sensor type. This uh, sensor uh, is a turning for for uh, shaped structure. With four piezoelectric uh, elements, two on top and two on below. So uh, here we can see that uh, two on top and two, uh, two on uh, below. Uh, and this is the uh, turning for fork. So th that will uh, turn. So now when the slip angle is zero, uh, the upper element produces no voltage. Here, sleep angle is zero means car is moving in a forward direction. So there, there is no moment, so uh, uh, no voltage will produce. Uh, but when the uh, 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 cornering is there, means the car is uh, uh, doing uh, turns, so rotational mo movement is there. So because of that, upper part of turning pro leaves the oscillatory plane and creating alternative voltage. That alternative voltage is uh, is a uh, uh, because of that, we get the sensor data. This alternative voltage is proportional to the yaw rate and oscillatory speed. So this data uh, fed to ESP con uh, control uh, control unit, and according to that, it will uh, uh, it will take take the action. And output of the signal sign depends upon the direction of rotation. Means if the car is rotating right, it will, the direction of rotation is right, and if the car is rotating uh, left, the direction of rotation is left. So as you can see, the here are the uh, four elements: uh, one, two, three, three, four. Those are four elements. Uh, uh, two are up and two are, uh, are downside. So uh, A is the sensing action uh, of the oscillating element. Uh, B is the simulating uh, section of the oscillating uh, element. One is uh, oscillating uh, element, and uh, second is the acceleration sensors. And third, thir uh, third is the actuator or piezoelectric element. There, there are the piezoelectric crystals that will uh, generate charge uh, according to the uh, stress, mechanical stress. Fourth one is the uh, 
फोरक्यून इज अ रेग्युलेटर फॉर कॉन्स्टंट वायब्रेशन एक्साइटेशन फिफ्थ वन इज चार्ज एम्प्लीफायर दैट दैट विल एम्प्लीफाय द चार्ज व्हाट एवर विल गेट फ्रॉम दिस फोर एलिमेंट्स द दिस चार्ज इज नथिंग बट द आउटपुट प्रोड्यूस बाय दिस ऑल फोर फोर एलिमेंट असेंबली सो दिस चार्ज इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू अस टू गेट द प्रॉपर वैल्यू सो दिस चार्ज एम्प्लीफायर विल डस द एम्प्लीफिकेशन एंड इन सिक्स्थ पॉइंट वी आर डूइंग मल्टीप्लिकेशन in multiplication uh, we are doing demo demodulation and after that uh, we are passing the signal to low pass filter using low pass filter we can uh, we, we are uh, re removing an unwanted uh, signal and according to that in uh, ua output voltage uh, we are getting proportional to your it so this is all about the piezoelectric turning for your it sensor so uh, after this there is a uh, another type mechanical type your it sensor uh, so here uh, uh, no piezoelectric element is used uh, here uh, the uh, the correlation acceleration is uh, measured by micro uh, mechanical capacitive acceleration sensor placed uh, on oscillating element the acceleration is proportional to product of your rate and oscillatory uh, velocity the latter of which is maintained electronic at uh, at a constant value here Uh, capacitive acceleration sensor is the it measures the capacitance according to the uh, rotational movement so this is the overview of the uh, uh, mechanical uh, your it sensor so as you can see if, uh, here uh, first is a uh, comb like structure second is a, a rotary oscillator that rotary oscillator will uh, uh, rotate and it it uh, it will uh, do uh, it it can uh, do vertic uh, vertical uh, vertical movement and third is a uh, uh, measuring axis that, that will measures the this uh, ro rotational uh, rotational movement of this uh, uh, rotary oscillator and uh, c, c dive is a dry electrode c c is uh, is a capacitive pick off fc is a correlation cor cor force uh, v is a oscillation velo velocity and uh, ohm is a me measured your rate so the working of this uh, 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 micro mechanical your rate sensor is uh, will uh, we will see uh, in uh, uh, video which uh, which i uh, added into next slide so uh, this micro mechanical sensor Uh, mechanical type your it sensor is uh, situated into uh, Bo bosch uh, ic so we'll see how uh, in the real life this uh, micro mechanical your it sensor uh, uh, works so as you can see here the uh, sensor is placed uh, below the passenger seat and uh, this is the uh, ic in which the sensor is there so as you can see the same uh, same what we see in the diagram same uh, architecture is uh, here so uh, the second rotary uh, rotary element is there that is uh, rotating also and it is doing uh, vertical axis movement also so so normally uh, it now car is uh, uh, here car is turning and it is about to uh, hit the stone uh, so by that time how it measures the uh, rotation uh, uh, rotational velocity uh, that we can see uh, see here so now car is about to hit so uh, it is uh, uh, it records the uh, that rotational velocity uh, the and time at which it, it occurred accordingly it will send that signal to uh, E S P electronic stability uh, program. So according to it will activate the airbag. So by act by activating airbag we can uh, save the passenger life. So as you can see the for uh, every uh, moment how the capacitance is changed. So here is the red one means uh, uh, it is a, a very critical condition. So uh, according to it will send the esp electronic stability program control unit so it will apply a break or it will uh, 
uh, fire the airbag of that side. So these are the some features of the, this. Uh, they are using reliable gy gyroscope uh, uh, in the in their uh, sensors, and uh, they are constructing this sensor using a uh, SMD. So size will be very small. So that will be uh, very uh, very efficient. So uh, even though uh, 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 means uh, every sensor ha uh, has some uh, issue or uh, they they might be not functioning uh, correct. So how to detect the it is not functioning correct? So uh, these are the symptoms uh, uh, in which the uh, your it sensor is uh, not working properly. So first is the check engine light is uh, comes on. Uh, so if the uh, uh, engine engine light is uh, not uh, coming properly, so we can uh, the detect that uh, some issue is there. So in that issue, there might be uh, uh, faulty. Uh, your sensor is giving faulty uh, faulty value. Another one is vehicle stability traction control lights element. Since the uh, your your sensors uh, sensor monitors the operation of both these systems. The problem with uh, your sensor might be trigger one or both these indicated light to light up on your uh, dashboard. The vehicle uh, lights vehicle stability light is a uh, uh, automatic uh, system that can that can't be turned on or off by the driver. So we have to uh, see see according to that. And uh, third third and last one is the Stability control light fast uh, intermittently. Uh, on many vehicles to, uh, sold in the uh, OS, this uh, stability uh, control system light will illuminate and flash on or on intermittently when there is a problem with the your light sensor. So uh, that is the one uh, symptom or uh, 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 detection we can uh, check that uh, the, our car has faulty your light sensor. So this is all about your light sensor. So, so here your red sensor uh, plays important role. It will send the uh, signals to uh, electron stability uh, program unit. So the, according to that, it, will, it has the power to apply the brakes and it takes the it can take the control of car to avoid the accident, skid, and uh, rollover. So it is a very important uh, uh, sensor in automotive industry. Uh, so that is about the your red sensor. Thank you.